hello friends welcome to my channel tutorials field and in this video we will see how to install mysql in windows 10 at the time of recording this video the latest version of the mysql is 8.0.29 but while you will be watching this video it may differ uh, the server version but you don't have to be worry about that because the installation process will be the same so let's start our video and see how to properly install mysql in windows 10 okay so first of all in the first step we have to download the mysql installer so open your browser and go to google.com and search for mysql download and then click on the first link and then go to the download section and then scroll a bit and here you can see that mysql community gpl downloads just click on that link now here we can see that a link mysql installer for windows just click link then here we can see that there is two download buttons the first one is web installer and the second one is windows x86 32 bit msi installer so we need to download the second one okay click on that download button now click on no thanks just start my download and then click on this keep button okay and the download has been started i will pause the video till it finishes to download now as you can see that our file has been downloaded completely now open the file location where it has been downloaded now double click on the file to start the installation process it will take some time just wait now in this window it is asking for to choose a setup type i will go for custom installation and then click on the next button then i will choose the products that I am going to install on this my system Windows 10. So I will choose just click on the plus icon MySQL Server and then click on this arrow to drag them to the right side and then MySQL Workbench. Okay, and then mysql cell i will install these three products okay now click on the next button now as you can see that it's saying ready to install just click on this execute button and it's installing just wait till it finishes sometimes it may happen that uh, it will ask you to uh, download some missing files uh, so you don't have to worry about that just follow the process as it says it took some time to complete the progress and now as you can see that the status is complete and i just fast forwarded in the video so now just when you see the complete status now click on the next button now 
just again click on the next button now <clears throat> all the settings just leave it as default and click on the next button and again leave it as default and click on the next button now in this window we have to give the mysql root password uh, this is the password for the root account so remember this password always uh, so i am giving the password okay so as you can see that we can also add users to our mysql application and that consists of a set of privileges so to add user click on that button add user we have to give the name of the user let's say meta and then the host is localhost and then role db admin it's okay and now we have to give the password let's say to give the password rule and then okay now uh, we have to click on the next button now set it as default then again click on the next button now apply the configuration click on that execute button now click on this finish button as you can see that the configuration of mysql server 8.0.29 was successful click finish to continue now click on finish button now again click on the next button and we have completed the installation now click on the finish button and close this now in the next step what we will do that we will set the path for our mysql tools so go to the control panel and then click on system and then advanced system set and then click on the environment variables and then here path double click on that and we have to add the path of mysql bin directory so first of all we have to copy the path go to the c drive where we have installed the mysql then program files then mysql and mysql server 8.0 and then bin okay copy the path copy and then to add the path new and then paste the path okay then click on ok so we have completed the installation process now to check whether our mysql database has been installed successfully or not open the mysql command line client search for mysql then command line client now it is asking for password so give the root password so as you can see that we have logged into the our mysql now now let's create database uh, let's say give the query create database student student db okay now use student db okay and then we will create a table create table student username where care 20 roll number where care 10 okay I'm just uh, checking that uh, our MySQL command line command line client is working fine. Just hit enter. Okay. Now 
<coughs> to see our table has been created or not give the query select asterisk from the student this is empty as we have not inserted any value into that now since we have also installed the workbench so open the workbench mysql workbench search for work bench okay and uh, now click on this local instance and we have to provide the password and we can also save password click on ok so this is the uh, mysql workbench which is nothing but a gui version of the mysql console where we can visually design model and generate databases now here we can give the query like so databases and now to execute uh, the query we can uh, we have to press control and then enter and as you can see that uh, the query has been executed successfully and here are the databases uh, uh, someone is default databases and the one which uh, we have uh, uh, created earlier which is student db so this was all from this uh, where i have explained step by step properly how to install mysql in windows 10 if you found this video is uh, useful then like to the video and subscribe to my channel thank you